God bless everyone joining at this time. This is a prophetic service. My time has come. I want you to make it a confession in the comment. Say this way. Say, my time has come. Permit me read this passage with us. Matthew chapter 13 from verse 3 to 8. It says this way. And he spake many things unto them in parables, saying, Behold, a sower went forth to sow. Verse 4. And when he sowed, some seed fell by the wayside, and the fowls came and devoured them up. Verse 5. Some fell upon stony, stone, stony places where they had no much earth, and forthwith they sprung up because they had no deep, deepness of earth. Verse 6. And when the sun was up, they were scorched, and because they had no roots, they withered away. Verse 7. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprung up and choked them. Verse 8. But other fell into good ground and brought forth fruits. Some a hundred, some sixtyfold, some thirtyfold. Verse 9. Who had ears to hear, let him hear. Where have you fell? Life is not complicated. It's who you meet that makes it difficult. Life is not difficult. Life is not complicated. It's who you meet. Life is not complicated. Life is not difficult. It's who you have met. Marriage is not difficult. It's who you got married to. Marriage is not difficult. It's the woman you got married to. Life is not difficult. It's who you met. It's who you met. It's who you met. Who have you met? The scripture says this way from the passage we just read. Matthew 13 from verse 3 to 9. It says, a sower had good seeds. Good seeds. And as he was passing by, some seed fell on stony ground. Some seeds fell on thorns. Some seed fell on standard soils and some seed fell on good soil. Where have you fallen? Where did you fall? Where did your effort fall? Where did your help fall? Many of us are regretting today. Not because we're supposed to regret, but because we invested in bad soils. We invested in bad soil. What I mean in context of soil, soil in context of people you meet. People meet you. Help, your help fell in a bad soil. You are regretting now. You are crying. You are asking questions. Why is my life like this? Your life was not meant to be complicated. Where you fell is the problem. The man you fell in love with is the problem. The woman you fell in love with has become the issue. Marriage is honorable. It is who you marry that determines the outcome of it. I am here to prophesy. I don't know where life has placed you. I don't know where situations have sent out you, but the power of the Holy Ghost, you are coming out from stony places, stony places, places full of thorns. You are coming out from situations. You are coming out from thorns environment, environment that are preventing your rising, relationships that are choking your greatness. God is taking you out today by the mercy of God, I prophesy, you are stepping out. I say, I prophesy to you right now. You are coming out from that situation. You are coming out from that environment where they buried you, where they buried your glory. They say you cannot grow in this place. God is taking you out of that place. God told Abraham, leave your father's house because his father's house was preventing his rising. He said, leave in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I pray for you watching me right now. That place that has been ordained by God for you, you will get there. I take you from where you are to where you ought to be. I take you from where you are to where you ought to be. Where God has ordained you to be, I take you out of where you are now to where you ought to be in the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to make it a confession in the comment. Say this way, say my time. My time has come. My time to move forward has come. My time to change levels has come. Some seed fell. Some seed, the seeds were good. But where they fell is the problem. We have many kind people who have become very difficult, very complicated. You ask them, this man was not like that. What happened? Is where he fell. This woman was not like that. What changed this woman? Is where she fell. The man she fell in love with, the woman she fell, he fell in love with is the problem. You traveled abroad. Life is difficult. And you are asking questions. When will my time come? Sir, madam. Life is not difficult. It's who you meet that determines the outcome of life. Today, by the mercy of God, I prophesy, you will meet great men. I say, by the mercy of God, I prophesy to you, you meet great men. Greatness will meet you. I say, greatness will find you. You watch me run as you share and like. I see a prophetic shift. The Lord is shifting you. I mean, from where you are now to where you ought to be. Your place of manifestation. Your land of fulfillment. This is God's word for you. This isn't. Say this is my time has come. Get your anointing oil right now. Anoint your head and anoint your hands and move from where you are to where you ought to be. Let it be your confession. My time has come. God bless you.